Well, it's a great day in Guthrie, Oklahoma. It's probably 70 degrees and sunny. I'm on my way to the hangar to finish up the oil change. And uh, looking forward to getting that done today. Anyway, see you inside. Alright, here's the 1977 Piper Archer II. We've got the top of the cowling off. We've started draining the oil. We let it set overnight unplugged so we could get every little bit out of that crankcase. And you can see the general condition here. We've had the, uh, the uh, vacuum system removed off of this airplane. We have the Garmin EIS. So that's freed up a lot of space in the back side of the engine. You can see how easy it is to remove that oil filter. And uh, the engine is actually really dry and clean. I've got the dipstick out here, getting ready to pour six quarts of fresh 15W30, correction, 15W50 AeroShell in there. And then we'll do a run up, make sure we don't have any leaks, and seal it back up. I'll show you what we've done here. We have about three feet of clear tubing that we hooked up to uh, drain the oil. And we use clear tubing because as that oil starts to drain, you want to not have a surprise when it starts blasting out of the end here into the bucket. And uh, we captured our sample for the lab analysis first and uh, then proceeded to let it drain overnight. And you can see while it was in here we wiped it down cleaned it up we've got the cowling setting over here it's in good shape anyway I'm gonna go ahead and button it up pull the clear hose out and uh, move the bucket out of the way and fill it up with six quarts of 15 W50 alright I'm back we've got everything cleaned up we've got six and a half quarts of oil I just checked it everything's sealed up no leaks so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that tug and hook it up and I'm going to pull the airplane out we're going to do a run and uh, we've got the Garmin EIS uh, electronic engine instrument system and we'll talk about that a little bit while we've got the engine running warming up and I'll see you back in a minute Okay, we're back in the airplane, and uh, we've got it moved outside on the ramp. The hangar door's down. The tug is disconnected. The brakes are set. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do an engine run, let it warm up. And I don't know if you can see or not, but the top part of the cowling is off. And we're going to let it run. We'll go through the EIS instrument here for you. And uh, we'll watch the engine warm up, and then we'll check for leaks.
ahead and turn those on. And once those get powered up, that message will clear. And you can go into options. You can set your preferred cylinder head temperature warning, low oil temperature, high oil temperature, low bus voltage, high bus voltage, low fuel reserve. And you can set your preferences on those, whether it's regulatory out of the flight manual or if it's something like uh, fuel reserves.